American Hustle, American Hustle. American Hustle. this brilliant American rogue comedy by David O. Russell, is based on a true story, something that's hard to believe given the rather crazy storyline. A couple of tricksters and small-time crooks are recruited by an FBI agent to set up a trap for corrupt politicians. We witness wonderful U.S. stars in leading roles and gain a strong sense of their joy of acting. Christian Bale, Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams all star in the film that was screened at a special event here at the Berlinale. Currently being shown in cinema halls throughout Germany and having harvested three Golden Globe Awards, this film certainly has chances of winning an Oscar. This is the press conference for American Hustle. Du hast keine Wahl. Du arbeitest nämlich für mich. Du änderst immer zu die Regeln. Du gerätst in einen Machtrausch, Richard. Sag's ihm, Edith. Willst du ihn wecken? Oh nein, ich habe damit nichts zu tun, Irving. Will ich auch nicht. Jetzt unterstütze ich Richie, weil er eine Vision hat. Mach's richtig oder gar nicht. Was soll das? Ich meine, er ist derjenige, der Amerika ruiniert, nicht ich? Wie zum Teufel ruiniere ich Amerika? Die Menschen haben gerade erst Watergate und Vietnam überlebt. Und jetzt willst du die Politiker wieder mit Scheiße bewerfen? Weil du eine große Nummer sein willst und befördert werden möchtest, oder? Nein, ich habe was Großes vor. Okay, das wird fantastisch. Wir installieren ein Videoüberwachungssystem, das volle Programm. Du wirst das niemals vernünftig machen, weil du zu regierungshörig bist. Du bist klein und glatt. Ich bin wie der scheiß Vietcong, verstehst du, Mann? Ich bin drin und wieder draußen. Ich bin die ganze Zeit präsent und du merkst es nicht. Okay, das ist die große Kunst. Nur so wird man jemand, dem die Leute vertrauen, der sie überzeugt, ihre Träume verwirklicht. Wer hat das Sagen? Ich dachte, Sie haben das Sagen. Ja, ich habe das Sagen, aber hören Sie auf ihn. Er hat die Vision. Ich habe die Vision? Weißt du, was ich gerade für einen hatte? Ich hatte die Vision, dass du meine Freundin geküsst hast. Ich dachte, ihr werdet nicht mehr zusammen. Ich habe dir ein Kompliment gemacht. Was ist ich hier los? Nicht. Bleiben Sie ganz ruhig, okay? Hier ist ein Messer, ja? Ja. Für den Bürgermeister. Überreichen Sie es dem Bürgermeister. Sehen Sie mich an. Sehen Sie mir in die Augen. Das bedeutet Ihnen viel, klar? Dieses Messer. Oh. Spielen Sie es, präsentieren Sie es in Ordnung. Freundschaft fürs Leben. Sie müssen es spüren. Das klar. ist heilig, klappt das? Heilig. Überzeugen Sie. Heilig. Überzeugen Sie. Überzeugen Sie. Okay. Wenn Sie glauben, es ist heilig, dann Richtig. ist es heilig. Hören klar? Sie zu, was klappt er sagt. Das? Es sind die Details. Deshalb ist er ein Genie. Schon wieder? Schon wieder ein Kompliment. Was soll das? Streust du mir Salz in die Wunde? Was soll das? Ich will nur Komplimente machen. Haben Sie noch irgendwelche Fragen? Ja, ich finde den Namen der Operation anstößig. Was? App-Scam. Arabischer Beschiss. Das ist rassistisch. Wollen Sie mich verarschen? Juckt Sie doch nicht als Mexikaner.
Meine Damen und Herren, können Sie sich bitte setzen, damit wir mit der Pressekonferenz beginnen können? Bitte setzen Sie sich. Please take your seats. And please be that kind. Don't use the flash during the press conference. Bitte kein Blitzlicht während der Pressekonferenz. When they ask the question, the wrong answer. The wrong. Yeah. The wrong language. It's in French. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this press conference screening in Berlinale Spezial for American Hustle and have a welcome for the producer, Charles Rowan. It's good to have him back. Last time he was here, we saw a movie, he was in China, now he's in the 70s. Good to have you back. Cha have a welcome for Christian Bale playing, playing Irving Rosenfeld. And the other guy with a famous haircut, have a welcome playing Richie DiMaso, Bradley Cooper. And it took us quite some time, I guess it was in 2000 when you were here with 99, well, something like that. It was for the Three Kings. American Hustle, written and directed by David O. Russell. Have a welcome. So, there's a question on the right side. Sorry for my... Wait, please wait for the microphone. Could you please stand up? Uh, hello, good evening. My name is uh, Inge Mered Hobbelstad. I'm from Norwegian newspaper Dagbladet. Uh, congratulations to all of you on a greatly enjoyable movie. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Bale and Mr. Cooper. Uh, your character, uh, characters both have very special relationships with their hair. Uh, so I thought uh, I was going to ask you, uh, uh, what, what does this particular uh, care about the hairdo say about these characters and in what way do you relate to those, shall we call it, struggles? Um, uh, yes, uh, Richie DiMasso has a... a quite intimate and uh, a workmanlike relationship with his hair every day. Um, you know, when we were talking about that character, uh, making an antagonist uh, somebody who's colorful and dimensional and maybe a little bit idiosyncratic in ways that we've never seen perhaps before and certainly trying to make me look a bit um, unrecognizable in a way. And uh, when, when I was just sort of looking at it, there was footage from a, one of the FBI agents named Anthony Amoroso. And to me, it looked like he had curly hair. And I thought, well, maybe he just has curly hair. And then David sort of took that and ran with it. And what if he curls his hair? And it's part of this identity that he wants to uh, put on every day in order to compensate, perhaps, for something that's missing in him or something that he wants. And it sort of fits into the themes of, of the movie for all the characters in different ways. And then Irving Rosenfeld does a similar thing. Well, I, but I also love the notion, what was it, Doc Ellis? Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. With you guys, yeah, who, who yeah well, he, he wants to be, you know? he's basically a, a boy, and uh, he wants yeah. to be a man. He sort right. of sees these black baseball players like Doc Ellis. Do Doc yeah. Ellis was a black baseball player who had curlers in his hair in the stadium during the game. <laughs> so, so we said that, you know, he had ideas that he thought were cool. When I first spoke to these guys about the picture, what interested us was not a cynical notion of people ripping people off or lying or deceiving. That was, a, that was, what interested us was a bigger idea about humanity, about how everybody in this room is an actor and everybody uh, embraces an identity and, uh, and creates themselves. And, and, and he said, he, he, he lit up. He said, oh, it's like, a, it's like theater, it's like actors. And, um, And that was what we got very excited about, how everybody chooses who they are. And he quoted Bob Hoskins, a, a, a colleague of his, a great actor, right? One. Who, who, who had always, you know, we'd work together and he'd said, you know, you don't, you don't act from the ears up, you act from the fucking feet up, don't you? And so that became a part that we, 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 we used as a line in, in the film, you know, that it has to be from the feet up, you know, meaning in its entirety, you know, you don't do it uh, by halves whatsoever. Um, and, and, then, and then back to the question about the hair. Um, 
for me, it was so unexpected to see this, this, this con artist having such an unconvincing con um, on his head. Um, and, and that he was so brilliant at what he did, um, but so terrible at what he did on top of his head, that there was a great juxtaposition uh, 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 in it. Um, and it became just a, a, a really, um, uh, uh, to me, a very vital thing uh, uh, to add to it, and very charming as well, you know, because um, uh, uh, generally people uh, think of confidence men as being very um, uh, slick and, and, and maybe vain, um, and certainly very smooth operators, and, 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 um, and, and we didn't want to make Irv that, and Mel, who Irv is based upon, is certainly not that at all, and I found him all the more charming for that. Yeah. Question in the middle, could you please stand up? Yes. Whoever has a microphone? Yeah. Only the people with the microphone, uh, please. We have, we have one. Yeah, come yeah, yeah. it's you. Um, Anders Björk and uh, Mia from University Radio Denmark. We have a question for uh, Christian Bale. There's this one particular thing that seems to make a pattern in the roles you have played, uh, Christian Bale, and you always seem to lead this double life in Batman, American Psycho, and now as Irving the Hustle in American Hustle. What is it that attracts you to these kind of schizophrenic roles? Um, well, I, th I think you're using the word schizophrenia in, in the wrong terminology. Schizophrenics hear voices and see hallucinations, and uh, so um, I, th I think you mean more, um, you know, ambiguous uh, uh, people. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, I, I certainly don't go looking for that, but I don't know a single person in my life who doesn't have that and more. You know, I mean, there, there's, there, there's so many different dimensions to every single person that you'll meet in, in life. And I don't know a single person who I feel like I know absolutely and then who surprises me greatly. And I think that should be conveyed in, um, in the characters that you play um, uh, uh, very much. And certainly when, when uh, you know, in, in, in working with David... Um, he, he, the, he's only interested in, in the very human qualities and the heart of, of the character, and um, and so you get these um, you get these really fascinating complexities come out, and um, and and I and I think you find it's it's not a personal choice of mine. I think it's just a human fact that people have um, uh, far more than two sides to themselves. You know, it, it's very natural for that for that to happen, and and, and, and indeed must happen in order to survive. And so I just incorporate that into most characters. Does that answer it correctly? Yeah, I haven't meant to be schizophrenic. That's that's a condition that. Yeah, I, th I, I don't think you meant schizophrenic. Right. Well, I mean, he's a man who has a, he has two women that he loves. 